We need you to agree with us. One more. Thou shall not pass. Y'all ain't jumping. I said, how bad do you want it? When I throw it, you better go crazy. God said. World heavy world champion of the most high. <laughs> watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. That is the man of power. Those people really can't worship. worship. But what if we were to ask them what true worship is or what defines a true worshiper of God? The answer would probably fall in the following categories we will be discussing in this video. By the way, if this is your first time on this channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. When we view worship through a lens that does not include this idea of adoption, we often look at worship as performance. Someone says, wow, those people can worship. What comes to your mind? What do you immediately think of about those people who were just identified as, wow, those people can worship? I feel like... So just because you... A lot of concerning activities are taking place in some churches today. Mm -hmm. Activities that urgently need the light of truth shown upon them. Let's take a look at some of the strange things happening in churches today, progressing to the craziest one at the end. I view the Holy Spirit like the genie from Aladdin. And he's blue, and he's funny, and he's sneaky, and he's courageous, and he's everywhere. The theology of both, particularly Bethel, is taking the Holy Spirit's name in vain constantly. Watch this. Friend, why don't you come over? Tell us your name and tell us why you're being baptized tonight. Hi, I'm Crystal. I just know that God is calling me to be a warrior for his animal kingdom. It gets worse. I'm to lead angels of our, an army of angels to protect animals across the world. And I just know I can't do it without God. Come on, give Crystal a round of applause. That's amazing, sir. <laughs> Can I speak to God, please? Oh, God, so good to talk to you. Yeah, this is Joyce down here. How's all this stuff gonna, huh? What? Huh? Oh, you want me to read the word? Easier, because you know that being led by the Spirit stuff. Huh, you gotta go now? Oh. And dear God, I remember laying in my office floor, literally holding on to the legs of the furniture to keep from running away from God. God was trying to get me to submit to Dave about something. <laughs> and I just thought, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. God! Satan runs many churches today, yet many people are so blind spiritually that they don't see it. Instead, these gullible churchgoers continue to associate themselves with churches that are under the direct control of Satan. And it Professor. If you can kneel down in public to respect your husband, how are you going to kneel down in the bedroom? <laughs> but it gets even worse. You know, one of the reasons we see some pastors boldly veering off course is because the whole dynamic of church has shifted. It's become transactional, like a business deal where you give something in exchange for something else. And when the focus becomes all about what you can get out of it, rather than seeking after God's heart, that's when things start to go off track. It's like, instead of coming to church to seek after God and his truth, some folks are just looking for miracles or blessings, 
almost like they're shopping for something they can add to their lives. And when that becomes the main goal, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters and fall into the trap of the devil's scheme. This is Bethel Church, and by the way, when you sing Bethel music in your churches, you need to know this is where it's coming from. Screaming for no reason, and you call this church? <laughs> no single verse in the Bible supports this type of strange behavior. The sad reality is that many attribute these demonic practices and displays to the Holy Spirit. However, there is not much difference between these unsettling behaviors, which you find in many charismatic churches, and Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini. Kundalini Yoga is a spiritual practice that involves awakening a dormant spiritual energy or demons, and the similarities between its manifestations and those in some churches are striking. Watch this. Marilah kita selalu ketawa untuk diri, untuk orang lain, ketawa untuk keluarga, masyarakat, dunia, dan negara. that and I think it's foolishness to be kicking someone with the name of the anointing or casting a demon out. Have you noticed how some ministers today seem more focused on putting on a show than on genuine ministration? What they call the ministration of the Holy Ghost often looks like nothing more than a flashy display of pride and raw emotions. It's hard to see where God fits into all of this. If you thought kicking someone for deliverance was strange, just wait until you see what the next preacher does. This is an ongoing deliverance session in a church and the pastor, known for incorporating the WWE theme in his church, lifts a congregant on his shoulder. The war the heavy world champion of the most high. <laughs> watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. That is a man of power. These pastors have turned God's holy place into an entertainment circus under the guise of deliverance. If you'd like to support this channel and help spread God's message, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.